Hello, all you great, grand, glorious Leos out there. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have got your beautiful astrological report for January. Happy New Year, by the way, for January 2022. Before I jump in, uh, I want to suggest to you that if I have not yet helped you discover your life mission, the beginning of the year would be a really good time to do it. It's a face-to-face -face session with me in which I help you find your life mission. Actually, find it is the wrong word. Discover what it is. You're already doing it. What I help you do is bring it to consciousness, and that empowers it and you. And if you are sick and tired of living Groundhog Day, which is the same old, same old story of your life. If you just read, you're frustrated, you feel trapped, you, you don't know which way to go, you're, you're probably ready for my Take Back Your Life session. It's a three hour face to face Zoom session. Um, and I help you see your life, the story of your life in clear vision. It will blow you away. You will see your life as you never have before. And hopefully you will fall in love with you. So all this information is on my site, MaxineTaylor.com. Now let's take a look at your glorious Leon, Leonian forecast. You know, I, when I say Leo, I have to say great, grand, glorious Leo. We know that. We know that. Okay. Well, isn't this beautiful? Look at this right here. <gasps> Gorgeous. We know that Mercury and Venus are tag teaming us. Um, they're both retrograde. They're both going to, uh, Mercury will go retrograde on January 14th. Until then, it's in the shadow of the retrograde. Watch my overview. Uh, video, if you haven't, it will give you a lot more understanding of the shadow of the retrograde. Okay, and Venus is retro. It will go direct the 29th and then move into the uh, post retrograde shadow. But when whenever Mercury and or Venus go retrograde, Venus <clears throat> starts acting like a retrograde Mercury. They, uh, things are confused. They don't work right. You think, what's wrong with me? Absolutely nothing. It's the retrograde Mercury or Venus. And we have both of them. How lovely. Tag team. Retrograde for a portion of their journey uh, at the same time. So you just want to be aware of that. And, um, I think I'll start your forecast with that. Venus, the pink planet, love and beauty and money and all the good stuff. Retrograde, uh, confused in your sixth house of work, health and service. Uh, this can help you uh, create work that you love to do. Now you might say, well, Venus is retrograde. Do I want to start a new job while it's retrograde? Um, if it's a temporary job, if you don't mind it, perhaps uh, leading to something better when it uh, goes direct, that's fine. It will make your work environment and your health really lovely. Now, Mercury in the shadow of the retrograde until the 14th, it is in your sixth house of work, health, and service. Mercury is what you think about and talk about. And so you're thinking about changing a job, maybe, and talking about it. Mercury then moves into your seventh house of partnership and other people. How lovely. All right. And then it goes retrograde. So it's back in the sixth house. And you're focused on your job because this is the big area for you. Job, health, work. 
So you're not going to start any new projects unless you don't mind if they're temporary and lead you to something better after they go direct. Okay. Now, look at Mars, the red planet. It's in your fifth house of kids and fun. And so it is time for you to have fun. You've been having fun, probably communicating more with your children, um, but certainly ready to have a good time. And I'm going to encourage you to party like there's no tomorrow. You can party with your kids or without them, but have fun. It's in your fifth house until the 24th. So you've got work activated and fun, fun, fun. I keep, the, if I say fun, 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 I'm thinking of that Beach Boys song. And she had fun, fun, fun till her daddy took her T-bird away. I'm dating myself. And some of you are singing it now. You know what I'm talking about. On the 24th, it's in your sixth house and your work comes first, wherever Mars is. That's what you fight with or for. And it's what is number one. So you're fighting for your kids, with your kids, um, fighting to enjoy yourself. You, you uh, throw yourself into fun. In the sixth house, your uh, number one priority is your job. Maybe your health um, with Venus there. It is blessed. And the sun, the center of life, the giver of life is in your sixth house. And this means there can be a new job for you. And you will enjoy it. As a leader, sun is the center, remember? On the 19th, the sun moves into your seventh house. Now, Mercury, as I said, is moving up and back from the 6th to the 7th and back to the 6th. Good grief. When the sun enters it on the 19th, other people become the center of your life. Your mate, your partner, or the public in general. Are you looking for more publicity after the 19th? Prepare until then. And Jupiter, the great benefic, blesses you on a psychic level and on a deep inner level. Jupiter in your eighth house has you rethinking your belief system, your entire belief system. If you are dealing with uh, a business partner, they will bring money to the table. It's terrific. And your psychic awareness and ability really increases because Jupiter expands whatever area it's in. Now we have a new moon on the second. Until then, we're in the dark of the moon and, and energy is low. This uh, new moon is in 12 Capricorn. Find that in your birth chart and combine it with this wonderful sixth house placement. Well, with the moon in the sixth, that's where you're thinking of, uh, that's where your energy is flowing. And you could be starting a new job or at least a new project on a current job or the best yet tying up loose ends of unfinished business at work. And two weeks later, the full moon in your 12th house of behind the scenes activity said, says, I need my privacy, go away world. On the 17th, the full moon is in 28 degrees of cancer. Find that in your birth chart and you'll have the whole picture. So you've got lots of interaction with other people and Jupiter in the private, secret, secretive eighth and the full moon in the private, behind the scenes, 
12th. So you're balancing your work, your relationships, and your time alone. It's beautiful. So I hope this is uh, inspiring to you, and I hope you'll join me next month when we pick up with the Venus and Mercury retrograde um, and your own personal forecast. So till February, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.